What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with a creation that I literally just built after the last video and that is this creation here. Now, before we look at that, we've got to look at the reason why this is possible and in the last video, the Wings Jetpack video, I mentioned that I didn't think it was possible to make a really good glider because Scrap Mechanic, the way the drag works and the way the physics work, your plane pretty much will just fall out of the sky rather than glide correctly. But it was pointed out in the comments that there is a mod made by Das at Wasp, who's actually the guy who did the wings mod. And in his mod, he's got this block here, which is a drag reducing block. And so what it does is it takes the total drag force, the stuff that slows down your momentum, and it reduces that by a ton and actually if we look in the description here it'll say normally the game reduces the speed of the object by 2.5 percent velocity every frame so this block can be placed and it changes it to 0.0125 percent so extremely slow very very reduced drag which means you can have a creation actually glide so if we take this standard plane here and we put one of these drag reducers on it uh two things is going to happen one the engines are going to be much more powerful because it's got reduced drag. It's not getting slowed down as much. And two, this plane can actually be used as a glider. So this is just the standard plane frame I've built a long time ago. I think when the wings first came out. And uh, we can just press one and we'll just take off here. And there we go. And uh, oh, no, sorry. We'll leave one on. Yeah, perfect. And uh, we can just, you know, fly up get some altitude. You can see the thrust is really, really powerful now. But if we turn off the thrust... Uh, we still actually can glide for a long time. So you can see, we can actually just tip it, and the drag reducing block, you can't really toggle it on or off, it's just always on, and uh, you see, it actually turns this plane into a glider. And pretty much any plane, you can put it on cars as well. I haven't tried it on a car, I don't really know what it does. Apparently it makes your car go faster, I guess, because it doesn't, you know, get that drag constantly slowing it down. But you can see, it really turns any plane into a pretty easy glider, to be perfectly honest. Really easy to control. And uh, we can just glide around the map forever. And it's really, really cool. Now, of course, it means that you slow down a lot less when you hit the ground as well. So it's going to take us a lot longer to slow down. Uh, let's just try and go back over there to where those other planes are. But really, really cool stuff. And I encourage you guys to check it out. I'll include, of course, the links for all that in the description down below. It is a really cool mod. And I'm glad you guys pointed it out yesterday. I have been working on a few other bigger scrap mechanic builds. But... There's a few that honestly have been taking me a little longer than I'd like to admit and uh, I wanted to actually do something a little bit smaller and when I saw that comment yesterday I was like man I really have to make this whole glider plane set up and really do something that's really quite cool and so I decided of course to build this whole setup here. So it is in fact an entire plane plus glider setup and you'll see they'll deploy on pistons stretching out a little bit from each other. Now the glider is completely unpowered although it does have a lot of uh, buttons and controls in it, but it does have a remote control setup allowing it to talk to this plane here Which is completely a remote control powered plane So we've got two buttons on the top here just so you can adjust your frequency if you want And then of course there's a couple buttons in the glider This is a pretty standard plane So it's got forward thrust on a switch and then it's got buttons for everything else So it can roll it can pitch and it can yaw and it's attached with this line of pistons all the way back to the glider. Now, originally I did this with the ropes mod, but the ropes stretch and bounce and it was just not consistent at all. The front plane would always get screwed up by the back plane. And then it, in the same sense, I actually had put more bearings on this rather than just rotation. And it was still too much. Having all these different degrees of freedom, the glider and the plane, they never really flew properly together and it was really difficult to get up into the air. But now we've got this awesome setup. So the glider, really simple. It's just got, uh, you know, well, the ability to glide. WASD controlled, again, pitch, roll, and yaw, it can do it all, and uh, it's got all the remote controls to fly the plane. So we can get in the glider here, it's got a lot of buttons, but uh, one turns on and off the plane there, you can see you can tell when the propeller is on and spinning, um, and we're, we're actually floating pretty quick here. You can see with the drag reducer block on the glider and the plane attached, I think the drag reducer affects both of them. So the plane basically will roll for a long time, but one will get us going uh, two and three roll the plane You can see the wing tips on the plane there uh, four and five pitch the plane You can see way off in the right there the elevators six and seven are the yaw for the remote control plane Eight will disconnect the glider from the plane. So we're not going to do that That's kind of like a one use thing if you do it uses that disconnecting block from the mod pack and you have to respawn the creation if you want to do it. And then 9 and 0 are yaw for the glider. And the reason why is because A and D are roll for the glider. And W and S are pitch for the glider. And of course, we are using the stepper motors from the mod pack. 
just so we can have that perfect zeroing position. You can hold W and S. They don't go too far. They always go to the right directions, and it's just fantastic. So we're still... You can see the drag reducer really... Like, when you have wheels that are free floating, you can see it really, really reduces drag. I mean, you could do a drag reducing race with, like, you know, a spud gun, a single spud gun as propulsion, and you would just constantly pick up speed because there's really nothing to slow you down as long as you have wheels contacting the ground. So really, really cool block, and uh, I'm really glad you guys pointed it out because it makes this glider absolutely awesome. Hopefully we don't clip that rock. Of course, once you've disconnected the glider, you can remote control the plane as long as you want, but I mean, good luck keeping the plane in your sights as well as the glider. They are completely separate controls, you can see, so we can roll the glider and roll the plane in different directions, but as long as they're attached with the cable, they both will roll together. Originally, like I said, I had that all separated, but it just wasn't, it wasn't really good. It was very, very difficult to fly, and it was pretty much impossible to actually tow the glider up to a, an appropriate height. So we'll just press one there. The plane will take us off. We can pitch the plane with four. And uh, that's uh, hopefully we can. There we go. The plane goes up. And we'll just pitch the plane back down with five. And you can see, so I'm just controlling the glider roll with A and D. But uh, we can control the plane roll as well with two and three. And, uh, you know, we can have the glider fight the plane and all that. But we'll just uh, we'll have the plane tow us. Oh, uh, the pitch is a, a little bit aggressive on the plane. You got to kind of, you got to kind of be slow on the pitch button. All right, let's just, uh, just do, oh, oh, okay, we hit the wall. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're good. And we'll just keep towing it up. The plane does naturally pull up a little bit. It kind of had to do that in order for it to, you know, take off the ground. The plane's physics kind of change when it's not towing the glider. And uh, you can see if we go too fast, that's where the controls get really crazy. So let's just go up really, really high here. And then we can just press eight. And you'll see it'll disconnect the glider from the plane. And we can just press 1 and turn off the plane, and it'll eventually fall back to the ground somewhere. So, now we're actually completely gliding. And, uh, you know, we have no no real thrust at all. So, we do use this cool little modded seat, which is kind of nice, except in first person, the camera sometimes gets weird. I, I don't know why. Also, the dude is kind of hanging out the front. But, you know, that, that's a thing. Uh, we are gliding extremely fast. Took out a lot of altitude, and uh, yeah, we're we're getting some crazy speed. You can see it works great. The glider at high speeds kind of pitches up a little bit, um, but you know it's a really really stable flyer. I mean, we could just glide around the map forever. Where's the plane? So we'll wait until the plane lands, and then we'll try and go next to it. But like I said, it's a really really cool block, and it just makes for some really cool stuff. I kind of want to go back now to the wingsuit and redo the wingsuit with a glider block, but I'd have to reduce the thrust drastically as well because. When it reduces the drag, it, it changes the whole physics of how the creation interacts. Okay, so our plane looks like it's going actually right into that field. That's kind of nice. Now, it does not have a drag reducer block on it, so it just kind of falls. We still got way too much speed, so I mean, we could just keep doing laps of the, the map here. Big wide arcs. Of course, I am curious to hear what you guys think. What else we could do with this drag reducer block? I think it opens up a lot of possibilities. For example, could we do a, a hockey puck type thing and have something where you hit like a ball, for example, and the ball rolls a lot further? I don't really know if that's a possibility. I know we tried doing like a Rocket League style soccer with cars in Scrap Mechanic, and it never really worked well because the balls don't go very far. Same sense we did golf once in Scrap Mechanic, and again, the ball, when it hits the ground, it just kind of stops rolling, but... Maybe with the drag reducer block, we could have stuff get hit a lot further. You know, projectiles could be a lot better. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am curious to hear what your guys' thoughts and ideas are. I have a few of them myself, which I'm definitely going to try. I don't really know how they're going to work. But I think it's a really cool block, even without the wings mod. And my goodness, this is like the world's fastest glider. How many laps? Don't hit the tree. Oh, that was close. I, I don't even know how many laps we're doing. This is absolutely awesome, though. Can It's just, it's so fast. And we are slowing down. We will eventually run out of steam and we won't be able to fly at all. And of course, the more we turn, uh, the more speed we're shedding on those turns. And we are actually slowing down. But it just maintains so much speed. It would be cool, I guess, to have a drag reducer block where you could change the settings. I think this one is fixed. I'm not exactly sure how possible that is in the script to have it so you can manually pick how much drag it reduces. Really, really cool that you can actually make gliders in this game. Yesterday, when I was doing that jetpack video... I honestly did not think this would even work. And then you guys were like, Con, there's just, there's a mod with a single block that fixes everything you were talking about. And it's absolutely awesome. It's so cool to be able to glide around the map like this and just sort of have this really surreal experience. And this is like a lot of glide time. So, all right, there's our plane there. Let's just loop back over to it. See if we can actually do a proper landing here. We don't really have, oh, hit that tree. Yeah, no, that's fine. 
It's fine. We'll just loop this way. Oh, look at this. Look at this landing. You can see, really losing speed. Perfect. I mean, I guess you could really reconnect it if you wanted to. Just spawn one of the decoupler blocks from the mod pack. But it's a lot easier just to delete it and, you know, respawn a new one. Now, you'll notice the pistons, they all retract with this sensor. So as soon as you disconnect the plane from the glider, this will actually sort of retract. And you can keep flying the plane purely on remote control. But, like I said, very difficult to do when you're controlling the glider. Because the glider, you know, you have to fly it. And then the plane's got a whole separate set of buttons, which just makes it extremely difficult. But we'll spawn in another one here and just go for another little flight. All right, and we'll just get it up to height. And then, you know, just kind of, you don't want it to go too fast. You want to make sure that you get it up to height relatively quickly and then just sort of let go of the plane. Of course, we could make a slingshot glider too, which would be really cool. But here we go, eight. There we go, just disconnects. We'll let our plane keep flying. And now, let's see, like, we can control the plane. So we can roll it and we can pitch it. But, like, I mean, good luck trying to yeah we're just gonna turn that off and let it do its thing it'll fall down of course i will upload this build to the workshop the two of them together i'll include instructions for all the controls it, it is a lot of controls but honestly you don't really need them once you you know let go of the plane once you put yourself in gliding mode it's just wasd of course you can use the yaw there with nine and zero but i find like you don't really need that it's more of just a formality it's a lot easier to just bank roll the plane and have it do whatever you want with the single drag reducer block you can just make stuff so much more powerful. And, like, I mean, you can look at this. Look at how easy this is to fly, you know, even through trees and stuff. We can just, you know, gliding, no problem, no problem. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we shot so much speed there. Lost all the speed from that turn. But, of course, it is a really cool glider. I really love it, and i love to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.